Hello. A lot of people wonder about earthquake hazards in the Pacific Northwest, as well as volcanic hazards. Well, as it turns out, these are hazards that we do need to be concerned about in the Pacific Northwest and Pierce County, even in Puyallup. I thought I'd take just a second to address the earthquake hazards in the Pacific Northwest. Basically, there are three different types of earthquakes that can occur in the Pacific Northwest. One would be what's known as shallow subduction earthquakes. These are produced by the spreading of the oceanic lithosphere off of our shore, and thus then lithosphere is shoved underneath the North American plate where we are. This is supposed to be Seattle. As this subduction process of oceanic lithosphere beneath the continental lithosphere takes place, it generates earthquakes along that boundary of sliding or underthrusting. Some of those earthquakes can be generated in the shallow part of the subduction zone. Those earthquakes we know are very large. In fact, they can be the largest ever produced. These can be large mega earthquakes, as we might say, approaching magnitude 9 or higher. An earthquake like this, if it were to happen now, would be totally devastating to our area. It could cause tens of billions of dollars of damage and result in thousands of fatalities. We don't want one of those earthquakes. There is evidence that these do happen here, but not terribly frequently. Over the course of the last several thousand years, we know that there have been about a half a dozen, occurring on average about every 500 years, statistically speaking. The last one, there's some evidence that occurred around the year 1700, based on deposits left behind by the tsunami that uh, the most recent one produced. We also know that that earthquake actually struck specifically in late January of 1700 because there is a written there are written records of a tsunami striking Japan on that date and there's no other evidence of a large earthquake that produced a tsunami anywhere else around the Pacific so that tsunami came from here so we know that in the year 1700 a very large magnitude 9 or greater earthquake struck this area if they occur roughly every 500 years plus or minus a bit uh, an earthquake like that could occur roughly any time. It could be uh, decades or even centuries away though, but it is something that we should be prepared for. The other two types that I'm not going to talk about would be deep subduction. These happen much more frequently, let's say around every 50 years. This is what struck our area in 2001. That was a magnitude 6.8 earthquake and there were a couple of others in the 20th century as well. Shallow crustal earthquakes can be pretty big as well, but in the range of six to seven as opposed to nine magnitude earthquakes. And they strike a lot more infrequently, perhaps on the order of 1,000 or 1,500 years, something like that. But they can be fairly damaging as well. So what kinds of effects would we expect here at Pierce College from a, deep, a shallow subduction earthquake? Obviously, we would have a tremendous amount of shaking, even though the earthquake epicenter would be some distance away. And that's because the surface waves that are produced, as opposed to the P waves and S waves, do persist with distance and would reach here and cause a lot of shaking. Especially because the Puget Sound Basin is full of sediment that shakes more than solid rock. However, here at, at Pierce College, we are on a material that would shake a little bit less than the sediments, the loose, wet sediments in the River Valley, such as where downtown Puyallup or Sumner are. If we did have an earthquake any of these three types, there's a common misconception that a large earthquake would set off an eruption of Mount Rainier. That's not true. Although earthquakes and, and volcanic activity in our area are produced by the same underlying tectonic processes of subduction, they are not related. So an earthquake would not set off an eruption. However, if there were an eruption, not caused by an earthquake, Pierce College would not be at risk to either Lahars or lava flows. Thank you.